What's up guys, this is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X Universal Monsters Leonardo as the Hunchback Ultimate Action Figure. Uh, this is part of Target's uh, Fall Geek Out. It should be in stores either this week or next week or last week depending on when you're seeing this video and which store you go to but it should be in stores. They will be stocking these and they should be relatively easy to find. I'm getting a lot of reports of people finding the things they're looking for. So that's a super good thing to hear. Uh, I guess they are opening it up online as well, but the only thing I know for sure is that they are going to be in stores. Online is always a hit or miss thing depending on who buys what type of deal. Okay, so Leonardo as the Hunchback. I'm a little personally offended because they made Leonardo the Hunchback rather than any of the main Universal Monsters, so you know how I feel about Leonardo, that's a bummer, but they did make a good figure out of it, so I can't complain too much. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands, oh no, I opened his shell and knocked his stuff out. Whoops, just, a, that didn't happen, professionalism. Okay, this guy stands, let's say to the top of his head, about six and a quarter inches, roughly, but of course he's all hunched over and, and derpy looking, so don't hold it against him that he's not that tall. It's gonna be about 16 centimeters. If you wanna see him up against the best action figure of all time, here you go, right up against the Marvel Legends um, Darwin, you know. Okay, so aesthetically speaking, this guy looks really good, but what's more important is doing a question of the day. Did you have the Universal Monsters Ninja Turtles figures as a kid? And if you did, or even if you didn't, do you want those versions of the Turtles? Now, I definitely do. I'm guessing there's some kind of licensing issue and that's why they aren't able to do the exact same things, but I definitely want those old versions. It was like Frankenstein, Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman. I think I wanna say Leo was the Wolfman. I wanna say Donatello was, oh, I can't, was Raph the, I can't remember. I'll have to look him up. Anyway, I want those. I remember the figures, but I can't remember which turtle was which now. I swear Leo was the wolf. Anyway, Hunchback, not so cool, if you ask me. Is anybody super into the Hunchback and like, yeah, Leo, the best turtle of all, got the best Universal Monsters character? I'm not. I'm bummed out about it. But okay, so they did a good job. We're going to put my feelings aside. Let's look at all the aesthetic details on this guy. I'm going to put my one gripe out there first, and that is that the main torso here needs more wash. It might have some certainly doesn't have as much as the arms or this lower piece it needs a wash severely um, maybe that's just mine maybe it got missed but that looks pretty pretty dang clean compared to the rest of his dirty clothes so other than that it's all right uh they got the googly eye look down maybe his his good eye is looking up a little bit too much and his bad eye is looking down like it's supposed to but it's covered in details you can see i guess i'll keep it in a little bit tighter on this guy all the sculpted texture the ropes the folds, the wrinkles, the little bugs crawling on him, they're all over the place. They're painted nicely. Uh, the turtle has the turtle skin has a wash on it. Painted details everywhere. The chain's a real chain. These little stitches and staples, and it's just very, very nicely detailed. Looks really good. NECA puts a lot, of, like you could tell, they put a lot of care into this figure. Uh, all the figures, really, but this one really, really shows. The lock is a floating lock, even though it doesn't actually hold the shell shut. It, it's cool that it's a separate piece that they put on there, nicely detailed. More supports, the shell having the swords go through it, that's cool. Again, the sculpt work, paint work, all the little detail stuff, very nicely done. Aesthetically speaking, I'm going to go 9 out of 10. The lack of wash is a bit off-putting, but it still looks really nice. Now, as far as the accessories go, I'm not even going to cut away yet. I may not at all, I think I will for one set. Um, it's cool because almost all of his accessories, not counting like his alternate hands and the flames, fit in his opening shell, which is his storage container. Now, the one problem I have with it is I had a hell of a time trying to get everything to fit in here like they show on the box, but you do get it all. So uh, on the inside of this part, you get the little brain container, which can open up and the brain comes out. You get a little skull, these things all remove. Uh, obviously we have his two swords on this half there's a spider in there that stays connected that's not an accessory you get two different shovels and a bone and that all fits in there and obviously the swords go in like he's got a crossed holster or sheath and so that's super cool that all of his most of his accessories anyway can store in his 
in his shell. <laughs> Very cool. As for hands, we have the two open hands that come on them in the package. Then we get fist hands, gripping hands, and pointing finger hands. All very nicely detailed. And then we do get some flame accessories to go on the tips of his swords. And those are very nicely done. They are not the same sculpt for each flame, so that's a nice touch. It's going to look much better that they aren't just mirrored images or something. So, pretty cool spread. I'm going to go... Uh, I'll go 9 out of 10 just because an alternate head would always be nice, especially for somebody like this. He could be more expressive, I guess. But still, obviously, that's a ton of accessories. And the accessories are really nicely detailed, like better than most figures at the $20, 20 to $28 price point now. So, accessories, 9 out of 10. Very, very nice. All right, let's talk about the articulation. Not the figure strong suit, not surprising. That definitely leans into the aesthetic for a lot of figures, though they do pack in quite a bit of articulation. Ball peg allows the head to move around surprisingly well. I would argue maybe a little bit too much neck on this guy. I mean, he's already got the hunchback. Do we need the long neck too? But hey, you can pose him around because of it. So depending on how you look at him, it's gonna be fine. Plenty of range there. For the shoulder, let's see what we have. Not the best range, not even horizontal, but you do get to bring it up some. You do get rotation out of it, of course. But given the shape of the figure, it's at kind of a weird angle. No bicep swivel up there. You get the double jointed elbow that'll rotate at the top and the bottom. So that is where you'll get your bicep swivel. And you get the floating elbow pad, which gets in the way of the joint. So Without really forcing it, you're gonna get less than 90 degree bend out of the elbow, so that's a bit of a bummer. The wrists have a swivel and a hinge. All of the wrists have a hinge. The sword hinge, sword holding hands hinge, is the wrong kind. That's definitely a bummer. Granted, this version of Leo probably not gonna be in the most dramatic of poses, so it's probably okay, but we have to note it anyway. Uh, there appears to be some kind of torso articulation in there, probably just a ball peg. It does let you twist at the waist, so that's okay. Uh, the hips are pretty loose though on their ball sockets, so if you put his, put his legs out like this at all, he's going to tend to want to do the splits on his own. So be careful with that if yours is a little bit loose, but um, they're not terrible, they just could be a lot better. And if you don't have a slick surface like this, you might be fine. Uh, very limited range going forward and back out to the side. It's not bad at all. It's pretty good range. You do get your thigh swivel up at the thigh and the knees are the same as the elbows at the top half. So you get a swivel in there if you want it and you get another hinge and a fixed hinge down here. But because of those big knee pads, you get very little range. You do get rotation out of it if you want. You also get rotation out of the turtle leg where it meets the jeans. So extra range there is not bad. The ankle goes pretty far back and far enough forward and you get an ankle rocker. So all the articulations there, how useful it is, is, well, it's not the most useful articulation, but for this particular figure, I think it's gonna be just fine, my personal opinion. Officially, it's gonna get like a six for articulation. It doesn't pose well. That's okay in my opinion and it wasn't meant to, so I'm fine with it, but you have to decide for yourself if you are and uh, that'll do it for the articulation section. So let's give it a final rating. Uh, NECA definitely makes their figures fun. They care about what they're making, and it shows. It shows. I know this figure costs more than this figure, but you wouldn't even be able to tell that they're not that far apart in price at this point. Like, not even a little bit. They're so close that it's, it's ridiculous. It's nuts. Like, yes, I get it, this is more, but it used to be like, Whatever, it doesn't matter. These figures, are, there's so much more effort put into them, it doesn't bother me at all that they cost more. I'd buy this over this a million times if I had a million times what they cost. So, final verdict on this release. It could be better in some ways. Obviously, the articulation could have better range. A few little details here and there, but it's a strong release. The biggest problem I have is the, the wash missing and then the loose hips. I'm gonna give this one still a rating of nine out of 10. The amount of detail, it's all new sculpt work, the creativity of the shell opening and everything fitting in there and just, it, it gives you everything you need to enjoy the figure. And um, yeah, it does need a, a better wash on the chest. That's about it really as far as the aesthetic goes. So I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Nine out of 10, I think it's a worthy buy. If you're at all interested in these, I think you're gonna enjoy them and you should be able to find them now. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is okay too. Go ahead and give it a share if you want to for either reason, that's fine. Algorithm is the algorithm and the more people that share, the better. So hate share it, I don't care. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos every day but Wednesday and thousands already on the channel just waiting for you. So come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.